So in prime of P6, uh, for any kind of activity, like uh, we also have constraints. So this constraints we can able to see in details window in status tab. In status tab, here we also have constraints. Uh, in that we also have primary and then secondary constraints. So we will see what are all the constraints we do have in Primera. So first of all, uh, we must know we are having four kinds of constraints. So first is start constraint, second is finish constraint, and then third is mandatory constraint, and then fourth is late constraint. So in start constraint, we have three methods like start on, start on or after, or start on or before. Like that, we also have finish constraint, finish on, finish on or after, finish on or before. And we also have mandatory constraints like mandatory start, mandatory finish. And late constraints, only one we do have as late as possible. So we will consider first start on constraint. So when you are putting start on constraint, so the activity won't start before this date. So it's a kind of restriction that we are putting on the activity. It won't start before the date mentioned. So it like prevents early start and it also accelerate late start. Uh, based on the imposed date. So this is what start and constraint and we also have see for start and constraint we can't able to put any secondary constraints. So we only can able to put only primary constraint and for start on or before so we can able to put any date by selecting uh, this uh, thing like you can able to put any date you want and you can select it. And it's a kind of restriction you impose on an activity that limits the latest date it can start. So it can able to start on the 14th Feb or before. So when calculating a schedule, the start on or before constraint is used in the backward pass only if the calculator late start date will be later than the imposed date. So this constraint may decrease total float. It only affects the late dates. So here we are putting restriction. We can able to start the activity on or before. So it decreases uh, total float and also affects late dates. We can able to put secondary constraints also. Based on that, we can able to like schedule our projects. And again, we are going first start on or after and we can able to select the date. It is also a restriction that you impose on the particular activity that limits the earliest time it can begin. So it can't able to begin like uh, before the date of 14th Feb. It can able to start on or after 14th Feb. So when calculating a schedule, the start on or after constraint is used in the forward pass. If the calculator early start date will be earlier than the imposed date. So before for start on or before it is like a backward pass and uh, we also have forward pass for start on or after in our schedule. So this constraint affects only early dates. So the early start date of an activity with the start on or after constraint can't be earlier than the imposed date. So it can able to start only after or on 14th Feb. So it depends on the restriction or constraints that we are applying to the activity although the network logic may cause the earlier start to occur later. So like that we also have finish on. So it's a restriction that we are putting to the activity by imposing a finish date. So it can delay an early finish or accelerate a late finish. So if it is like if any activity going to finish early it will restrict that because we are going to put this this activity on finish on 14th Feb. And it also accelerate a late finish. So to satisfy the imposed date. So we also have finish on or after. So it is a restriction you can put on any activity that uh, limits the earliest time it can complete. So it can able to finish on 14th Feb or after 14th Feb. So this constraint reduces float to coordinate parallel activities ensuring that the finish of an activity is not scheduled before the specified date. It is usually applied to activities that have few predecessors that must finish before the next phase of a project. So we also have finish on or before. It's a restriction that you impose on an activity that limits the latest time it can be finished. The finish on or before constraint affect only late dates. Use this constraint to ensure that the late finish date of an activity is not later than the date you impose. So any activity should complete on February or before February. It 
means that so you can put this kind of constraints and we also have mandatory constraint for mandatory constraints we have mandatory start so the particular activity must start mandatorily start on 14th feb so this restriction you impose on an activity that sets its yearly and late start or finish dates equal to the date you specify so the mandatory yearly start or finish date is used regardless of its effect on network logic a mandatory yearly start or finish date could affect the late state for all activity that lead to the constrained activity and all yearly dates for the activity that leads from constrained activity so when mandatory constraints are placed on calendar non work time the yearly and late start dates are not set equal to each other the yearly date is moved forward to the next valid work time and the late date is moved backward to the first valid work time so this can cause negative float in the schedule so finally we also have late constraint that is like a, as late as possible and you can able to put the date so we can't able to select any date here for this constraint uh, it's a restriction that you are going to impose on the particular activity or work until uh, it is getting a positive float that allows it to start as late as possible without delaying its successes so this constraint sets the yearly dates as late as possible without affecting successor activities so since it is like a as late as possible constraint we can't able to select any particular date so like this we also have eight constraints we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 totally eight constraints we can able to apply to any kind of activity in primavera p6 and depends on it it will schedule accordingly and you will get the uh, duration of any project but these topics are little bit confusing but once you started applying and you can able to feel the difference in duration and difference in finish dates so later you can able to like uh, identify what is what easily so make use of this constraints in any kind of project to get whatever the result you want and uh, you can able to use all these things in primavera p6